Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, exam questions on atomic structure and the periodic table. So that's topic one from paper one for the AQA GCC chemistry specification. What we'll do is we'll go through a series of questions. Um, I'll point out some of the command words and some little hints about how you might answer the question. And then you can pause the videos, have a go at answering the question, and then the mark scheme will follow each question, at which point you can pause the video again and amend or mark your work appropriately. The first question we've got here is a straightforward question, fairly low demand, about the structure of the lithium atom. The first part of the question asks you to name the particle in the atom that has a positive charge then you need to name the particle in the atom that has the smallest mass and then complete sentences using the numbers that are provided. So you can see I've underlined name, name and complete. So these are the command words for questions. The first one, naming a particle in the atom that has a positive charge. We know that there are two particles in an, at in an atom that have charges. Uh, one is positive and one is negative. Um, in this scenario, you need to select the positive one. Part B is name the particle in the atom that has the smallest mass. Okay, a hint here would be that um, the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. So if you know what particles are in the nucleus of an atom and what particles are on the outside of an atom, then you'll be able to answer this question. The third question, so complete, okay, this should just be written in the space provided. So it might be on a diagram, or in this case, we've got spaces provided at the end of the sentence. So you need to choose a number from the box that most appropriately matches the statement before it. So the mass number of lithium atom is, and the number of neutrons in the lithium atom is. So remember, when we look at the periodic table, the mass number is the top number above each element and the bottom number is the proton number. You can use those two numbers to then work out the number of neutrons in an atom. So if you pause the video now you can attempt to answer the question. Use the mark scheme in order to help you mark or correct your work. This question Explain why the reactivity of elements increases going down group 1 from lithium to rubidium, but decreases going down group 7 from fluorine to iodine. Is a common question uh, that regularly comes up in exams. It may use um, different elements, so it might say uh, why is iodine uh, less reactive than bromine, or it might say uh, why is rubidium more reactive than sodium. Um, either way, it would be the same um, points that you'd need to answer this. The explain term here, so students should make something clear or state the reasons for something happening. So here you're going to need to consider what actually changes to the atoms as you go down the group. For example, does the atomic radius change? The number of electrons, the number of electron shells, Okay, and how would that influence the reactivity of these elements? Do these elements prefer to lose electrons to form ions, or do they prefer to gain electrons to form ions? Okay, and how does their changing atomic structure influence the ability to lose or gain electrons? Pause the video now in order to try and answer the question. Use the mark scheme and pause the video to mark your work or make any corrections. This question is about the plum pudding model and the nuclear model of the atom. And again, it's a very common question about comparing the two models. The command word compare, this does require students to describe the similarities and or differences between things, not just write about one. 
So you'll need to say what the plum pudding model had and what similarities the nuclear model had uh, and also what differences the nuclear model had to the plum pudding model. Pause the video now and attempt to answer the question. As this was an extended answer question, um, there are different levels to your answers. So you'll need to look at these level markers in order to consider whether you, your answer falls into level one or level two. This is very, very difficult. Uh, examiners find this difficult as well. Um, and some of the guidance that's needed uh, is listed below. So the similarities and the differences. And if you've scientifically relevant, if you've got scientifically relevant features that you've identified, the ways in which the models are similar and different is made clear, then you're going to be getting three or four marks. If some relevant features are identified and differences noted, okay, then one to two marks. Um, if none of what you've said is relevant, then you would get zero marks. Okay, this question is about isotopes. So if you remember, an isotope is an atom of an element with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. And this is the reason why the relative atomic mass of elements uh, is usually to a, a decimal place. Um, at GCSE, we tend to only see copper and chlorine that, des that have decimal places because they're exactly 0.5. But when you progress to A-level, you'll regularly use uh, re relative atomic masses that have decimal places. So the term here, calculate, okay, this means that students should use the numbers that are given in the question to work out the answer. So it says calculate the relative atomic mass of the element. Another important point is that it does state to give your answer to three significant figures. Therefore, if your answer is not to three significant figures, you will potentially lose marks on this question. So in order to help you, you need to remember that in order to calculate relative atomic mass, it's the mass number times the percentage abundance of each isotope, and then you add those up, divided by the total abundance. Pause the video now and attempt the question. The mark scheme is here to help you find out where you may have gone wrong or to mark your work appropriately. 